Hi. Today I want to talk about a technique. It's called canceling the objection. And canceling the objection means that when you're in a sales process, it's usually very predictable. And at the end, your customers will always give you the same objection. And you lose deal after deal after deal right at the end because of that objection. So canceling the objection says, okay, well, instead of waiting for them to bring it up at the end, let me bring it up in the beginning and we can deal with the objection in the beginning or complete eliminate the objection by bringing it up and then later on they're basically locked out of giving that objection because we've already told them about it in the beginning it's called canceling the objection here's a real story from my own personal experience filling out health insurance applications and we'd get all the way oh you you'd, it was a long process it was a, a 10 page application you'd go on and on and on and then at the end you'd say and uh, now I just need your checking account information I need the routing number and the account number and inside because I'd spent 20 30 minutes minutes on the application, I, I have my fingers, I'm like this, please, 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 please give me the routing and, the, and account information. And a lot of times they pull out their checkbook and give out, give that information. So I'd make the sale. But too many times they would say, no, 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 no. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you need my checking account information? And we deal with the objection. Sometimes I'd overcome it and we close the sale, but too many times I'd lose the sale. And I just got so frustrated. It happened too many times. So finally, I remember one day I said, look, I stood up and to no one in particular, I hung up the phone. I said, that will never, ever, ever, ever happen to me again. I'm never going to lose a deal because of checking account information at the end. So what I did is I tried to bring it up in the front and here's how I did it. I canceled the objection. Here it is. And then by the way, I'm going to show you how I did it. And then I'm going to tweak it after I show you how I did it. Then I'm going to show you how I tweak it to get even better and better and better at it. Okay. So I'm going to share this with you. So we'd start filling out the application on page one. And then I would say, you know what before we get 15 or 20 minutes into this application I do want you to know I am going to be gathering some personal information so for example I will need you and your husband's social security number I'll also need a driver's license to confirm prove your residency and I'll also need to know what checking account will be pulling the premiums from okay now here would come the objection. Well, wait a minute. Why do you need all that personal information? Okay, great. Now I'm. Ha it's a real advantage to have the conversation up front rather than at the end because at the end you've invested all that time you're invested in it and then you lose the sale and you end up fighting for every sale right at the end let's argue about it in the beginning and then I would say oh okay sure I understand you know you're you, I'm just somebody on the telephone and you're concerned about giving your personal information to somebody over the telephone and I would work the objection through you know other objection handling techniques and sometimes they'd say, oh, okay, all right, let's go ahead. So now when I get to the end and I ask for the checking account information, they'd give it to me because we had the, they had, we had the debate about it, the objection up front. So what I did was I tweaked it a little bit. Okay, Instead of waiting for the objection up front, what I did is I tweaked it. Listen very carefully to what I said. Um, okay, so I, I take their name, their address, their phone number, etc., the easy stuff, and then right before I take their social security number, which is a personal thing, I'd say, hey, you know, wait a second, just to make sure we're on the same page here, before we go 15 minutes into this, I want you to know I will be asking for some personal information. So, for example, I'm going to need both of your social security numbers, I'm going to need a driver's license number, and I'm going to need to know what account, what checking account we're going to be taking the premiums from, okay? So, Mrs. Jones, what's your social security number and I'd write down her social security number do you see what I did I canceled the objection by saying I'm gonna need and I'm gonna need your checking account information okay mrs. Jones what's your social security number I just asked her for it I said okay but I didn't allow her to object and the second she gives me her social security number everything on my list is now taken care of and it works like magic because you get to the end I now I need to know what checking account I need your routing and account information boom we get it every once in a while someone will ask a question about it. I say I ah, don't worry about it you know just give it to me and let's go ahead and we close all the deals and it works like magic now uh, let's how do we apply it to other situations that's how you apply it to you know that situation but what's important is for you to apply it to your situation what's the reason first of all identify all your objections what's the main objection that always comes up at the end of the process that's what you have to focus on and simply bring it up at the beginning as a good example a lot of people will say 
well, we need to think about it. Thank you. That's great information. Now let us think about it. So what you do is you cancel that objection in the beginning. Um, you know, hey, before we uh, get into this and spend, you know, the next 15 or 20 minutes, a lot of times people will look at all this information and then still not be able to make a decision. They'll say something like, we need to think about it. Now, rather than say that at the end, let's make sure we get all the information that you need so at the end you can make a yes or no decision. Fair enough? Now, don't wait for them to say yes or no. Fair enough. Just say now. Uh, the first thing I need to ask you is this, then this, then this. You see how that works? Rather than say I need to think about it at the end, let's make sure you get all the information, you get enough information to make a decision today. Fair enough? Now, let's just jump in. Okay? That's called canceling the objection. Find a way to work it into your sales presentation, and you will stop losing deals at the end. Hey, I hope that was helpful.